Hello there. I wanted to take a few moments and share another little technique video, this time for my uh, guitar playing students out there. Uh, in my lessons, you've heard me talk about this before, but I wanted to take a moment to uh, give it a little detail and give you something you can look back on and review at your uh, leisure. What I want to talk about today is slop picking, which is a short phrase I use for sloppy flat picking. Now let's define our terms here. So let's say I've got a little chord progression going from uh, D to C to G. And I got a little strum pattern here that is just down then uh, uh, three down ups. So I, you know, and so on. <clears throat> Now, if I were to do this song, what we call flat picking style, instead of strumming those down ups, I'd be hitting individual strings. And most people think of flat picking as a specified pattern. For example, one of the most famous ones every guitar player learns is uh, House of the Rising Sun, where you do that little three down, three up. so on and so forth. So you've got a memorized sequence, three picks down, three picks up, and you just walk through your chord changes. Slop picking is a sloppy version of that in which I'm going to take a chord uh, strum pattern like I was doing here with that down and then three down ups, and I'm not gonna get overly picky about exactly which string I'm hitting when I go to pick individual strings. I'm not even going to get too worried about it if I accidentally hit two strings instead of just one. So what that enables me to do is play the exact same rhythm I was strumming, but lighten it up because I'm not smacking a bunch of strings. So I can take this pattern I did a second ago down with three down ups. just get rid of those strums and replace those with individual note hits. And what you're going to find is I've got the exact same chord progression, the exact same rhythm, but it's a much lighter sound to it. So what we have here is if we've got a simple chord progression like I'm doing right here, and that's the whole song over and over and over again, then I need something I can do to break it up a little bit, to add a little variety to that. So let's say we want to lighten it up for the verses, I can use that slop picking style. <laughs> then when I go into a chorus and I want to up the intensity level, I can go into the strums. So that enables me to move between verses and choruses, keep the same pattern of chords, same pattern of rhythm, but change that intensity level as needed.
So once again, what I try to maintain here is a consistent down-up pattern. The only thing I'm changing is instead of smacking three or four strings in a strum, I'm going down to individual strings, and like I said, if I accidentally hit two strings, I'm not too worried about it. And I'm not overly worried about which strings I hit. I'm holding down my chord shape every time. So as long as I'm playing clean chords, any string I hit's going to be within the chord. It's going to work. So this is an extremely easy way to add some variety to your uh, playing patterns to songs. And you can apply this to any pattern you already know. So take any chord progression, any strum pattern you already use regularly, and just change your down-up strums to individual string hits. The only thing I try to aim for as far as a, a consistent rule is I'll normally try to aim for a root note or the lowest note of the chord uh, I'm holding on that first down hit. That way on beat one, I'm hitting the name of the chord, that uh, letter note. And then after that, what I hit is what I hit. And it will change every time I go around. I don't try to hit it the exact same way twice. So once again, an extremely easy way to add some variety to your uh, song structures and uh, add another layer to your playing. Good luck with that. Take care out there.